When you attach a camera to a car, there's always that fear of it falling off, but this three suction mount by PGY Tech should help alleviate that fear. And a quick shout out to PGY Tech for sending me this mount. Now let's get straight to it and take a look. Even though it's a three suction mount, I was quite surprised how compact it was when I first saw it. PGY Tech are good at taking a product and making it look good as well as it being functional and I think the design is really nice and it's not too lumpy but still feels and looks really solid. When closed it measures approximately 170mm wide and about 110mm high. Each suction cup is on a ball head swivel mount and you spin it around to open it up ready to mount onto a car. And when fully open it measures 240mm wide. The suction mounts and holding brackets are made of solid plastic. To attach to a car you remove the plastic film on each cup but it's best to keep it safe so you can put it back on after use. And you place one suction mount on a flat clean surface push it down and then push the lever down to create the suction to hold it in place. And now adjust the other two suction mounts, making sure they're level one at a time, get them flat and push the lever down on each one again to hold them in place. The good thing about having the three suction mounts is that the mount can sit across two or three different surfaces that are flat but are slightly different heights and this accounts for the different body shapes and the designs of each car. Once the mount is in place it feels ridiculously sturdy and I used all of my strength to pull this off and it doesn't budge. But if you wanted to for peace of mind you could always tether this mount to another mount or you could tether it to a tether point on your car. Compared to the Bushman Popeye magnetic car mount this one takes slightly longer to install but only about 30 seconds or so and you probably have a feeling that the Bushman is more likely to damage a car because the magnetic mount does come down with quite a thump when you attach it to the metal surface. And of course a magnetic mount will only stick to magnetic surfaces so it's no good on cars that are made of aluminium or carbon fibre. It doesn't say in the manual what the pulling force of the PGY Tech mount is so I can't compare the exact figures to the Bushman mount. All I can say is it just feels really secure and I know that's a bit vague but you just have to take my word for it. The feature that I love about the PGY Tech mount and that's a signature feature on a number of their mounts is the small magic arm that's integrated into the mount. This gives you so much flexibility with your camera position and means you can easily position the camera straight up or out in front just by adjusting the arm. And if you're using a standard GoPro camera or you're shooting with the 4K mod on the 1R then this arm allows you to mount the camera at all sorts of angles. The arm is approximately 10 centimeters long and is made of aluminium alloy and it has a ball joint either end and locks into place securely using the locking screw on the side. You can mount the camera to the arm using the GoPro finger mount and it also comes with some small gaskets if the male fingers are too loose in the mount. This is quite a nice touch including these because quite often you do go to attach a finger mount and it's not sized correctly and doesn't fit. When you attach the camera to the GoPro style mount you use the standard PGY Tech pins to lock it in place and there are two that come with it. And you can also swap the end out altogether and replace it with the included quarter inch thread. And it's really easy to do, you just loosen the arm off, pull the ball joint out and replace it with the quarter inch thread joint. And with the threaded mount you could then easily extend the arm by adding a selfie stick. I personally don't do this and I think it is potentially dangerous because by extending that stick you're adding extra leverage and extra bounce which could loosen the mount. It probably won't in most cases but I personally wouldn't want to risk it. And the length of the standard arm, even though it's only 10 centimeters, does give you enough distance away from the surface to give you that floating camera look so you don't really need to extend it. The three suction cups do give you more strength but because there are three they can be seen because they fall out of the camera stitching area. Even though it's clear that there is a mount I think the footprint at least looks symmetrical and clean and the wider you come out with the shot the less obvious it is. 
you can't get away from the fact that you can obviously see the mount in shot and this will be more apparent if you've got a white car for example with a black mount on it. So this is a compromise but you can't have it both ways, you've got the extra security and for that you've traded off the invisibility. To detach the mount you take your camera off, pull up all of the levers and then use the small rubber tabs to help pull each cup off one at a time. And it comes off really easily which was surprising. And once you've removed the mount, then put the plastic films back on each cup to protect them from dust and dirt. And you can then store the mount in the included soft pouch, which is really handy. When I reviewed the single suction cup mount by PGY Tech, I was really impressed with that. But this triple mount takes the security and safety of your camera to the next level and gives you so much more confidence when mounting your camera on a car. For more accessory ideas, you can watch these two videos next. My name's Rich. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.